let's move into the air signs. Let's start with Aquarius. energy here Aquarius are you dealing with a Leo could be moon or rising signs there could be cross watchers here I feel like there's someone who really wants to like talk to you hear from you reach out to you I feel like there's someone that wants to uh, maybe even turn things around and really show you what they're willing to put into this connection some of you are in this energy of feeling like you know what you should have known what you had when you had it i mean that's what this queen of swords and the empress in reverse shows me you should have known what you had when you had it you didn't appreciate me you took my kindness for weakness i feel very disrespected i see all of that here i see you uh, maybe coming to terms or like realizing it um, it's very important that you don't let your experiences harden you, though. And I say that because there is a lot of hardened energy in these two cards. So I just think it's important that you know that history, especially if you've moved on and you want to find a new connection, that doesn't mean that history is going to repeat itself. Okay, because I wonder if any of you, like, this is residual, like, maybe way in the past. Because some of you could have already moved on from it, yet still have certain scars from it. For others of you, I feel like this energy is more present. And you have someone that's trying to come back around. They are trying to. Okay. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, that's important. And it's important energy to try to remove from yourself, Aquarius, because it's like um, where you normally have a very like loving and caring and generous way. You know how you'll do nice things for people, kind gestures, maybe even like bake them something, you know, very, very sweet energy. I feel like you know, maybe some of you are starting to feel like, you know what, I've been knocked down too many times. No one's going to see that side of me. That's that's not fair to you. It's not fair to you. Don't let someone make you into a person that you're really not. Okay, that's what I can see. So I think that um, even though I see where the, the communication is there, someone really wanting to talk to you. Is this the best thing for you to embrace? I don't, there's a lot of straight up anxiety and depression. I mean, this is what that energy is. I wonder if any of you are dealing with that, seek treatment for that, or maybe are dealing with someone that goes through anxiety and depression. There's so much energy here of anxiety, depression, and anger. Maybe this reading can even help someone put things into perspective, especially if they know that they deal with someone that has one of those conditions. Maybe even so they um, look at things from a different perspective and know that it really is not them. Uh, there's a lot of red flags, though, that I can see. So I feel like this is almost a warning to some of you to really reconsider embracing someone that might come back around. Or it could even be like certain behaviors or habits coming back around. Because what's getting ready to come to you, I feel, looks very trying. Because like I said, there's so much uh, overthinking, anxiety, sadness, anger. If you know that you've been on a cycle with someone like that, you've seen this side of them, you've dealt with it. That could even be a message to you from Spirit about what you're getting ready to get swept back up in again. That's important, Aquarius. You know, I would love to say like all of this positivity and stuff is coming your way, but I feel like this is more a warning to someone. And maybe it's even for someone who is suffering from these conditions to just think about 
Uh, maybe even if they haven't had treatment, maybe think of, think about it as a real condition, something that really needs medical attention. Okay, because that's what I can see. Two of swords is the way that someone takes a look in the mirror. It's not the easiest thing to do, but I feel like they do it. Or some of you here could even be very open and honest with yourself about how certain connections or this connection has changed you and not for the better. Okay, just I, I just feel like it's super important that you don't let go of who you really are. You are a kind, gentle, loving spirit. Very nurturing, someone who deserves to be respected, someone who certainly does deserve to have, um, you know, someone who is putting in their all. And I do see that that's, that's what this person is like going to reach out and tell you. But then, okay, that's great. They reach out, they tell you that. But then when I look at what's coming your way, these are not good messages so maybe there's a connection that some of you should really think about avoiding because you you might be avoiding a lot of stress and drama and and pain and anger okay Aquarius wow so this is like don't go back don't I mean of course you have to do what you have to do it's it's your life it's your choice but I just feel like there's too many red flags here like if this was a personal reading and I and I took a look at who's coming your way. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't say that to be insensitive, especially if someone does have like a condition. OK, so just, you know, that little disclaimer. But I, I would tell you to not embrace this. I would tell you to not embrace it because of the the just the heaviness that I feel in the energy. And then the way that it just changes you and makes you into someone that you don't even really like being. So if there is anyone that's trying to come back around, maybe make amends, apologize, tell you what they're going to do to work really hard, I mean, you have to think very carefully about it. And if you do know that, because I know I keep talking about the anxiety and depression and the anger, but that energy is here so strong, like I can't ignore these two cards. I think that you really need to make sure that this person is doing what they need to do to take care of it, you know, because if someone here has like a condition, that's not something that I'm going to sit here and like judge them for. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I can see. So I feel like your reading is pretty straightforward because it's for someone who could be wondering about maybe getting in contact with someone because because they approach so nice that's the thing i wonder if any of you are thinking about maybe reaching out to someone because you know as time passes we tend to forget the bad experiences and we only focus on the good ones and that could be what someone here is doing there's a strong message to you from spirit to just really put things into perspective and think about how this connection or this energy makes you into someone that you're not and how it makes you really lose touch with um, who you are as a person. Okay, Aquarius, that's just, that's pretty heavy, I know, but that's a lot to think about and that's the energy that I can see. So it's for someone who really um, needs to hear it. That's why those kind of heavier messages come through it may be beneficial to who needs it the most because that's why i read is to help okay aquarius i love you guys that's what i can see coming through for the remainder of july don't forget to check out your bonus reading i did a bonus reading for you guys so that should be up on my channel okay check that out Hey Aquarius, I hope that you guys are all doing great. Oh, that's funny, there's your energy right there. You know, it's been a while since I did a bonus just for you guys. I just did a Leo bonus and like one of my other biggest subscribers is Aquarius. So I just wanna say thank you, give you guys a bonus love reading for the second half of July. So let's take a look at your love life and see what kind of energy is coming your way. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn, this is Passion Heart Tarot. Let's see what's in the Air for your love life, okay, Aquarius? Before I begin, just gonna take a moment to bless your reading and invite. Did I hit the first? If the camera moves, guy, I don't know why he wants to lay right there, like right at my tripod, and his nose is right there. I hope he doesn't knock it over. But if it moves, that's why, because he's right there. 
Let's see. All right, Aquarius, let's see into your love life and energy coming your way in July. I think things are going to work out even if it feels like it's not going to. Because I, I see where there is this energy of like not knowing, not sure what to do. And it's kind of crazy that the overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles and like really finding direction. So I think that what you really need to know is the way that everything is going to turn out. The Ten of Pentacles is like this energy of happiness, like safety, security, feeling like you have someone that you can rely on and trust. The Ten of Pentacles is like this, um, it's a deep energy because it shows me the potential of what you could get here. I wonder if this is energy that once some of you heal a little bit more will come to you because you know some of you could be single wondering what's coming your way. You have like this direction and a path that's getting ready to open for you. The two of wands lets me know that. I always look at this energy as like okay after analysis after growth after like thinking very deeply you're, you're gonna find your direction so it's important for you to know what you have coming in because this could be a lifelong connection for some of you if your connection is damaged right now i i feel like what you have coming in is happiness success it's this energy of um, feeling like everything is, is going the way that it should. There's almost like a calmness to it. So even if things feel like they're in a place where you don't really know what to do right now, just know that you have a big relief coming in. That's what Spirit wants you to know. And for those of you that are single, I mean, you're going to you're going to have clarity and direction a path is going to open up for you because you know these energies it's like waves it looks rocky it looks like there's something that it looks like the trust got broken here to me and i just see where the trust is gonna like it's getting worked on it's getting restored it's like working on getting it rebuilt i think that someone here that hasn't wanted to take accountability for certain things there's a real shift that comes through and they see how they've been because this judgment card i feel like this is the judgment that they uh place on themselves when they look within that's what i feel it is or maybe someone even saying, you know what, I've been, I've been this way with my person. I shouldn't have been that way. Especially if there's been any kind of like unfounded accusations. Or maybe even someone carrying over uh, baggage or like emotional baggage from a previous experience. I just know that. Things are going to smooth out in a beautiful way. Or like if you guys are single here, it could be the healing that you do. Deciding that, you know what, I'm going to let myself trust again. I'm going to let myself open up again. That's what I can see. I feel like it's um definitely maybe even holding someone accountable and, and maybe they've tried to like run from being held accountable i feel like they're going to like take a, a step back kind of be more present and see what they should be doing differently all right aquarius i do feel like these are these could even be more present energies and this is to let you know what's coming in 
definitely um, improvements for sure. So even if it feels like things are messed up now, like it's, it's hard to trust or whatever the case may be, because I see all of those emotions here, I do feel like you have something very special coming in for you, like special as far as it feeling like it's secure and happy and safe. Okay, Aquarius, that's important. Let's take a look even further at um, what's going on with others of you. For others of you, what kind of energy is coming in? Let's take a look. It's, it's a very similar message repeating. It's like, um, so just know that for the second half of July, your love life might be a little bit rocky because there's a lot of emotion here. Someone, and I feel like this could even be your energy with like fighting to be treated a certain way. So you may have to stick up for yourself, Aquarius, or like hold someone accountable or teach them how to treat you. That's that's important. The um, these two are very powerful feminine energies here. The Empress and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, that is like this energy of look. I know what I'm worth. I know what I bring to the table, and you're not gonna disrespect me. That's what I see. Because uh, the Empress in reverse is almost like someone who feels like they're not being treated the way that they deserve, so they could feel disrespected. Um. They could. And then that Queen of Pentacles in reverse too is also like harboring certain resentments. I feel like it's someone who's been very generous with their heart and their effort and their time, giving very sincerely. And this is a person who is saying like, don't think you're gonna take advantage of me and don't think that um, I'm gonna be taken for granted because I'm not. Some of you could even like end up taking a break from your person, separating from them. I just feel like they're they're gonna step their game up in a major way. I do. I feel like certain cycles from the past that have been unhealthy are gonna be realized and then they'll get closed out. So even if there's you guys in separation now, you know, some of you could be, I see things being fixed and I know that it can be surprising because I feel like the way that this turns around looks very surprising to me the eight of pentacles is some you want to see those efforts come towards you because it's like a really high standard and living up to those high standards and being proud of it so while there's this energy of like ups and downs could even be some of you that take a break or separate, you know, because there's anger that's here. And, and I'm sh it's with the way that this person is and what they have to offer and and just everything that they bring to the table. It doesn't surprise me that they're not going to allow themselves to be mistreated at all. That's what I can see. So, you know, being mistreated looks completely different for one person than it does for another. You know, because we all are in different places. We all have different standards, different lessons that we're here to learn. But I just see that's how someone feels. I feel like that's how you may feel, Aquarius. And I feel like you put your foot down. You might even show this person um, a side to you that you haven't shown. It looks like a very tough side. And I say that this is like a tough cookie because the Queen of Pentacles is normally someone that you always, you just see their sweetness. You just see their generosity and like how they're such a good listener. Um, but it's like, don't get it twisted. You're not going to mistreat me. Um, and I just feel like it's this energy of someone who puts their foot down. And I feel like once they put their foot down, what, however way they feel is um, necessary, it, it makes this person really come forward and, and step it up in a major way. Seeing the world card, that's about cycles uh, coming to an end and rising above, rising above. So maybe some of you just need to like um, 
set up healthier boundaries for yourself because you know this person will they'll rise to the occasion they will that's important for you to know you know don't think that if you put up these boundaries that it's going to push this person away i feel like it's only going to make them rise to the occasion and disrespect i know is a very tricky word because some people hear that and think that it goes way left and it's like these outrageous forms of disrespect but like i said disrespect means certain things to certain people for some of you it may even like um maybe if this person doesn't get back to you as fast as you'd like or is like not uh putting you um as the priority that you'd like you know of course to an empress that can feel disrespectful so please don't take my reading to like a dark place um you know because some people watching here tend to do that this is not a reading like for abuse and like crazy things like that so it's whatever your standards are that you feel are not being met up to and i feel like it puts you in this energy where you stand up for yourself and the world card is like okay what like certain cycles get broken and the energy lifts the energy lifts so if you are in a period of separation right or maybe just like distancing yourself from someone i don't see that energy remaining for much longer because i see someone here who's gonna miss you like crazy who does miss you like crazy and just wants to make things right there's a lot of effort that's being put in to the connection I think it's very important that you set your standards right where you feel they should be Aquarius because it's going to get this person to step up. You know, I don't just like brush these energies off because when you go through it, it does feel like it's, it can be very trying, you know, because there's a lot of energy here of frustration. So I do see you guys, you know, experiencing different emotions in your love life, but ultimately things get back on track in a beautiful way. And I obviously I think that what helps to get them back on track is teaching someone how to treat you, what you will and will not accept. Okay, that is what I can see. So if um, anyone is dealing with an Aquarius or if the shoe is on the other foot, I feel like um, your person knows and has a lot of confidence about who they are and what they bring to the table. And I feel like what they genuinely show you is like their heart's very pure. And I feel like if, if um, they feel like promises are not being kept to them or they're just like uh, put on the back burner, that is something that's gonna be very irritating and will bring out a different side of them. And I just feel like someone is really taken back by seeing that side of them and, and, and wants to step it up and they will. So what I see pretty much coming through for you, Aquarius, is major improvements in your love life. Some of you, um, this energy could be coming in where things start to get like kind of weird or like rocky. And, you know, there's been a lot of advice that has come through from spirit about like setting a certain standard because this person will rise to the occasion. It's like your catalyst for each other's growth. They they trigger something within you that triggers a reaction and then that reaction triggers something in this person. So I feel like the two of you will challenge each other, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And remember like I said, you know, disrespect that's, you know, it doesn't like give this person a, a free pass to do something that you feel is like unforgivable. So obviously, you know, you'll have to use your best judgment here. I'm telling you the energies that are coming in is like things really getting uh, like the heaviness clearing away and rising above. So there's a lot of development. This is like spiritual growth, ascension learning and seeing things from a totally different perspective so just know that the reading is very positive Aquarius because like if it is rocky or rocky energy comes to you know that it is going to get cleared away because I actually see where you guys can be very happy 
And for those of you that I, that I feel this could even be residual energy that you're holding on to, because some of you watching this may not even be dealing with anyone, but you could be holding on to residual energies of like, those promises were broken to me. That person didn't treat me the way that I deserve. And then maybe you put like this suit of armor on you, so to speak, of I'm never gonna let that happen to me again. So it's like hardening, putting your, putting like a hard shell around yourself as a, as a way to protect yourself. Um, I feel like you two will like put things into perspective and, and you'll break free from that shell and you'll rise above anything that's been like attached to you, residual energy, anything that's been holding on to you, energy in your love life. Because maybe you've been longing to have someone come in, have someone come in that makes you feel um, like you're in alignment and you're where you belong. I see that energy coming to you as well. So it is very positive. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I can see coming through um, for the second half of July. I love you guys. I send you much love and light, Aquarius. If you want to join me over on my Patreon, that would be awesome. If you guys miss me, I'm there so much, like nearly every day posting. Uh, my daily readings are over there. A whole bunch of bonus stuff is over there. I'll link it below. Check out my Patreon. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And I send you all much love and light. I'll link some other videos in the description that you guys might want to watch, especially if you haven't checked out your love readings for the beginning. Uh, and mid energy in the month. Okay, I love you Aquarius and I'll see you in the next video Let's see what is going on with let's go into the air signs. Let's go into Aquarius's energy Aquarius, your energy is here, and the initials B and J are here. Capricorn's energy is here. Um, what you need to know is like this run of bad luck, or maybe some of you feel like there's forces against you. Um, what you need to know is that energy is like being cleared away from you. So. Anything that you've been feeling unlucky about or feeling like you haven't had control over it and like maybe there's things happening around you that you don't really understand, what Spirit is showing me is um, the way that there's a fresh new start that's coming in for you. I touched on that because, you know, there's a lot of magical um, essences here. You know, the magician, the devil, the high priestess, eight of, eight of swords. This is a message to you from spirit to let you know that you cannot be cursed um if anyone's thinking that they've been cursed you haven't been and especially you know the eight of swords what gives those things the power is the belief in it and then when you believe in it you manifest certain things around you so i feel like that's a message for someone so they can have peace of mind and so they can know what's ahead of them. Because your energy coming through as a star card in reverse, I wonder if you've just felt out of touch with yourself. If maybe you guys have been worrying about the stability of things in your life. Some of you could um, maybe feeling a bit worried about money and like how everything's going to get paid. Things like that. You know, because this is like the energy of your home. Your home life, what you've built, seeing it come in reverse lets me know that maybe things um, have been kind of uh, not as harmonious as you'd like them to be. But what Spirit is showing me is all that energy is going to fall at the wayside. Like come mid-July, there's your shift is coming in. There's a big, big turnaround. I think it's important that you let yourself take chances, Aquarius. If an opportunity comes your way out of the clear blue, that's a gift from the universe. And that's meant for you. That's meant for you to take. Okay, that's what I can see. 
I think that you need to realize how much power you have and, and what you create around yourself. And it's, there's a lot of advice coming through from Spirit about not giving your power away. Or convincing yourself that like there's uh, forces that have any kind of power over you. Okay, that's very important. Just know that your shift is coming in and I see um, you feeling a lot better. I, I know that there, maybe some of you have been going through a lot of turmoil recently. Just worry in the energy, worry. Um, maybe feeling like out of touch with your person, out of sync with your person. Maybe the two of you, like things have been stressful, maybe you've been hurting each other. I know that there's just a big change. Just know that you have something beautiful to look forward to. Okay, that's important for you to know. That the worst will soon be behind you. Okay, Aquarius. I wonder if some of you have um, been feeling this way for a while, just feeling like there's certain energies that are like holding you back or keeping you down. Try to remove any thoughts from your mind about uh, like bad luck and, and being jinxed or cursed or, or karma and things like that. Because the more that you focus on that stuff, the more power you give it. And when you start to shift your thought process and you focus on uh, what it is that you want to happen, you, you tune into that frequency and you draw that to you. It's a beautiful message from Spirit to see the Fool card come in because it lets me know that like things are going to be reset for you in a major way. There's going to be second chances. There's going to be the energy of a clean slate. And then I see you feeling uh, like you ch you can trust again, like you can open yourself up again. I see you feeling like if you do take a chance, you'll you'll know, you'll know, you it'll feel right to you because this energy shows me that it feels very right to you moving forward, taking this chance. And I wonder what that is for some of you. It could be to get back on track with a certain connection a certain person for others of you it could be taking a chance on yourself maybe some of you are tired of like just feeling like you have lost some of who you are maybe some of you feel like um you need to start a new chapter for yourself in order to clear away this negativity that i can see you feel um has been around you just know that it is it is going to so i feel like your reading is very positive i'm gonna look a little bit further into this full card just to try to get you some more messages because i feel like that's the long and short of it aquarius let me look a little bit further it's really a message of um hope it's a message of optimism to let you know what's coming in. And I know this is a love reading, but whatever you feel has been like not going right for you or keeping you down, you're going to feel like you're on track very soon, like prosperous energy. It's funny that this tower card is coming through because that lets me know that, you know, there are certain things that that are gonna come to an end in order to usher in this, um, you know, new chapter, because really that's what it is, like as one door closes, and this is letting you know that the hard times are gonna be behind you. That ends and then a new beginning is here. A new beginning where you feel like you don't need to compare like this to that, you to someone else, your relationship to another person's. A new beginning is coming in for you where you feel like you are enough. What you have is enough. Feeling content. Feeling like you don't have to compete. Um, feeling like um, you feel like you don't have to compete because you feel like if, if you did, you'd, you'd win anyway. So there's like a peace of mind. There's a very content energy that I can see coming in for you. 
if they're like because a shift is coming in Aquarius that's that's the bottom line so just know this no matter what happens and if you feel like certain energies come in and, and maybe it's blindsided you could be what you've experienced already just know that it it's like growing pains and it's to bring in this shift with all of this freedom that I can see coming your way so it may not have been the easiest of transitions but there's been very valuable lessons for you so think about everything that you've learned up until this point think about the things that you want you'll know what to do you'll know what direction to go in because like I said an opportunity might present itself and that comes in all different forms and you should take it that's what spirit shows me I wonder what that means to you I wonder if this like new opportunity has already come in but that is what I can see coming through for you guys the energy in your love life for mid July okay Aquarius I love you that's what I have for you I send you much love and light let's go into Aquarius's energy okay Aquarius let's take a look at your love life for the first half of July. Let's see the kind of energy coming your way. I see Sagittarius's energy and Leo's energy is here. Are you guys dealing with one or a Libra? Sorry, I feel like I have to sneeze. There's even um, this couple that's coming through, King and Queen of Wands. So it's funny that there's this energy of a couple. Things are a little bit rocky, I won't lie to you, but I feel like um, it's going to be made right. Because the overall energy is balance coming in, justice coming in, and where there's all of this energy of a couple, some of you could be in relationships right now, or some of you might even get into a relationship, because that energy is very strong. I just see where things are going to work out because the overall energy is like um, getting what you deserve. Having peace of mind, having things be really stable and smooth and relaxed. That's what I feel. It's um, something that has to, like, I feel like certain motions need to be experienced. You know, you have to go through certain motions. That's what I see. There's um like a real push and pull between you and this person. There's like almost a stubbornness that someone has. I feel like they, for whatever reason, feel like they're losing control of certain things. And I feel like when they feel like they lose control or they don't have things going exactly the way that they want, they really do start to shut down. And I feel like when their person starts to shut down, the other one is in this place of like trying to balance it and make it right, which is really good because when one of you is down, the other one will pull them back up. When one of you is off or like, you know, floating around, the other one will be their anchor. So that really is a positive thing. Um, I just see where there's a lot of emotion here. And then I know the one who feels like they always have to support the other one does kind of start to slip into this energy of like, well, what, what about me? You know, um, I'm giving, giving, giving. And I feel like, do you even appreciate what I do for you? So I do feel like it's going to be important for you guys to work on finding that balance, especially Aquarius, if you know that. Maybe you're the one that needs your person to be your anchor if your energy is very um, kind of like up and down like that. I just think it's super important to keep in mind the need to balance. Like if your person does something for you, yes, they are doing it out of the kindness of their heart because they care for you. But I think it's also super important to think about, well, what am I giving back to them? They did this for me. What can I do for them? I feel like the relationship is going to feel like it's taking work, but it'll all be worth it. Because there is like a lopsidedness here that I can see. Um, 
there's a lot of care, there's a lot of support, but whoever is giving the support also needs to receive that support back. So that's super, super important because I just see a lot of emotion that's here. I see a lot of, well, I did this for you, I did that for you. Not that this person is keeping receipts, not that they're using it against the other one. I just know genuinely they want to feel like it's equal. There's someone here, and I read it like this because I wonder which side you'll be on because it's not the same for all of you there is this feeling here of like you know i'm doing this i'm putting in all this effort and i don't know how to get through to you so i think it's super important to really work on the balance um with you and your person for the first half of july it is all going to work out that's what you need to know you're gonna there's like ups and downs but i think the two of you will start to realize more of what the other one needs and how to give the other one what they need all right that's what i can see because even though that you know the the couple is here so i know you guys are definitely gonna you know remain in your connections where one is up and one is down that just lets me know that there's like um a lopsidedness in the energy so i feel like the connection is gonna take work it's not gonna be something that's just like easy and smooth and that's not necessarily a bad thing i feel like you're working out kinks you're getting to know each other better and you're both both working on showing your level of dedication okay that's what i can see so just know this right if you if your person starts to become like they shut down or they become closed off it's a cry for attention it's not because um it, it, that's really all that it is okay that's what i can see and i feel like I feel like if that's your energy Aquarius and you know maybe you're the one that's starting to shut down at times your person is definitely going to come to your rescue but make sure that you're repaying them or like showing your gratitude back because I feel like that's really all that wanted here is reciprocity and gratitude it's definitely um a good time to shower the other one with attention and that doesn't mean like to smother them it's just like maybe switching it up a little bit maybe if you stop texting as much as you usually do start to text them a little bit more maybe send them an email you know maybe be a little more flirty so that's what i can see because i know that that's what's wanted here it's going to make the other one feel special that's that's what spirit is showing me there is like um something that you're going to have to be going through of like attention it's funny because it's like a seesaw that's what spirit is showing me i just see where there's this pattern that you guys get into for the first half of july where someone falls the other one picks them up and then the one who is being so supportive is like saying hey what about what about me do you know what i mean so it's gonna be like a balancing act between you and them i feel like you will get it right though i feel like it'll all work out because the energy is um i feel like it's valuable because you're learning so much about each other it doesn't matter how long you've been together i feel like you're going to see a different side and learn more about your person as the first couple weeks come around Okay, and for those of you that this energy is newer, um, I feel like you might be in a position where, you know, you're opening up to this person, maybe you're venting to them about certain things, getting to know each other, they're comforting you, but don't forget to ask about them as well, because I know that you might be in a place where, you know, it feels good to be listened to, it feels good to be seen and acknowledged, but don't forget to say, well, hey, what about you, that kind of thing. Because I feel like it's going to put the connection in a really good place. So, I feel like um, a lot of you are already in this connection. But for those of you where this energy is coming to you, as you're getting uh, to know someone, um, to make the best impression, you know, when they comfort you or support you or they ask you something you know they're trying to get to know you make sure that you're just as vocal and asking questions and that you show interest in them as well because it's just going to help like build build it so you have a lot of positive energy that's here there's a few um kinks but it's nothing that's going to break the connection maybe it's just um something that you guys are going through to become closer get to know each other more to become like more open with each other 
That's what I can see. Okay, Aquarius. That's what I see coming through for you guys for the first half of July. I send you much love and light.